one this afternoon, nearly 24 hours after the blaze broke out at the Broadbrook Mill, and stubborn spots of fire were still erupting. A crane was brought in this morning to clear away some of the debris so volunteer firefighters who'd been here since yesterday could finish their work. I was fighting fire on this side, and one of the arrow pieces hit the wall on the other side, sent a brick fly and caught me. But they took me to the hospital, got a broken nose and 11 stitches, slight concussion. And you're back here today to... I was back to here two hours later. I've been here since. It's 1.30 yesterday. At the fire's height yesterday, 200 firefighters from 10 surrounding communities battled the flames. It still looks like the workman would have saw was cutting some kind of pipe upstairs, and I got the uh, state fire marshal, the state police in here now, doing an investigation on it. And uh, once we talked to that person and established what he was doing up there, uh, I think we can get the cause. The people of Broadbrook, many of whom had grown up around and worked in the 137-year-old mill, came today to see what was left of that part of their lives. She worked. How long did you work? I was there 12 years. I worked there about seven or eight years. And our fathers and mothers before us. It's been our, our whole life, this mill. It's um, the life stay of, of Broadbrook at one time. And uh, it's indeed a very sad event to see. Oh, I put 20 years of my life in there. The developer, who's been working for a year now to renovate the old mill into space for business and apartments, pledged to the people of Broadbrook today that he'll salvage what he can of their history. We'd like to save as much as we could and then add to that with a complete new structure. The town building inspector says most of the structures which made up the mill will now have to be torn down. Fire officials say they expect that despite their efforts, the mill that to many was Broadbrook will smolder into the weekend. Brian Garnett, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Broadbrook.